I'd now like to cover the allergy sensitivity profile, another one of the tests that are preloaded into the system. And if you'll notice, we take filters that are from the comprehensive analysis. The difference is with these filters, we have checked the box one by one. And what it will do is it will go through all of these items one at a time to see if there's any disturbance whatsoever whether it's causal, whether it's symptomatic, whether it's just a slight disturbance in and of itself. And this is a way to get a little more fine tuning or detail from the body. And you'll see that we have categories uh, for environmental uh, areas such as tree pollens. And this desensitizes all the families of trees. Whereas we could run the environmental sensitivity list, and we'll show you that a little later, and identify specifically which tree pollens to you as an individual are showing an issue. And we have the same thing for foods. If dairy comes up, this will detox the whole family. Whereas if I do the food sensitivity list, I may find out I'm allergic to or reacting adversely to uh, eggs or milk. Uh, but butter and cheeses are OK. And we'll go into that test uh, in that video. The one important factor in here are the phenolics. And the phenolics, the phenolics are the chemical compounds that are chained throughout organic substances. And often one phenolic may be in 40 foods. And what happens is that phenolic enters your body, your immune system doesn't recognize it. So it attacks and destroys it, has an altered immune response, therefore it's an allergy response or an allergy pattern. And if we imprint this and give it to you homeopathically, it would teach your immune system how to recognize this chemical and break it down properly rather than responding adversely to it. Phenolics have probably neutralized more allergies than any other categories or any of the other categories combined. Uh, one phenolic, as I mentioned, may neutralize up to 80 foods as well as numerous environmental sensitivities from pollens and dust and trees. So it's a very powerful protocol to run. But if I wanted to get more detailed, I would go into another test. Now, if we look at an allergy, any allergy is a disorder of the immune system. And obviously, it can affect the nose, the sinuses, the airways, the ears, the eustachian tube, the skin, the gastrointestinal tract. So if I uh, saw any of these issues with a patient, that would key me in that I would probably want to run this uh, test as well. And when you're dealing with allergies, you may want to look at miasms as well, because hereditary issues come into play. Age, diet comes into play. You may want to look at the diet. Uh, and interestingly enough, infections during uh, early childhood stages can weaken and compromise the immune system. Uh, so you may want to look at uh, tests in that area. And one that none of us can avoid is the environmental pollution that's just everywhere. Now, we also, if we look at this as an altered immune response, we may want to include, and let me collapse these, and we may want to include a test called the uh, Reticuloendothelial info. Uh, this also deals with core immune issues. And you may want to add this into this test by simply clicking on that title in the master list, clicking the Add button. And yes, I want to continue. And you'll see it'll add all these items in. The body's phagocytes, monocytes, macrophage, the connective tissues that deal with immune function, histocytes, lymph nodes, the uh, Kiefer cell. Um, and obviously, we'd want to set this as one by one. And so I would recommend that you put this into the test. Since we're dealing with allergy, which is truly an altered immune response, let's also look at the immune system and see what areas have been altered and the SAR code that needs to bring those back into response. And this is the allergy sensitivity profile.